Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of videos on the course Foundations of Mathematics. This is part 7 of the first chapter Statements and Logic and the title is Proofs in Mathematics part 2. The outline of this video Proofs using contrapositives Proofs by contradiction Proofs using mathematical induction and counter examples in mathematics. By the end of this video, you will be able to prove statements using contrapositive, prove statements using contradiction, prove statements using mathematical induction, and I understand the idea of counter examples in mathematics. The first one is proofs using contrapositive. Now, uh, in our earlier videos, you have already seen what are contrapositive. Given an implication, what is the contrapositive of that implication? Okay. So, for a statement, the statement and its contrapositive, they can be the same mean. Alright. So, if S, then T. This statement and if not T, then not S. These two statements, they are equivalent. So, proving the first one is as good as proving the second one and vice versa. Okay. So, I will take an example of a statement of the type if s then t and we will prove its contrapositive. Okay, and that will prove the given statement. Look at this example. For n in z, if n cube minus 1 is even, then n is odd. This is what I want to prove. Okay, so if n cube minus 1 is even, so this is my s, n cube minus 1 is even, then t. t is n is odd. Okay. So, what I'll do is, I will assume the negation of this t. So, I'll assume that n is not odd. That means n is even. And we will prove that n cube minus 1 is not even. That means n cube minus 1 is odd. Alright. So, I'll assume that n is even. Suppose n is even. That means n must be of the form 2k for some integer k. Right. Now, you look at n cube minus 1 and you drop the value of n that's 2k so 2k the whole cube minus 1 you simplify this that will give you 8k cube minus 1 and now you can write this as 2 into 4k cube minus 1 so this is a number of the form 2 into some integer minus 1 and we know that such numbers are odd numbers okay so we prove that n cube minus 1 is odd and hence if n is even then n cube minus 1 is odd. So, we have proved the contrapositive of the given statement and hence the given statement is true because the statement and its contrapositive they are equivalent. Okay. Now, proof by contradiction. In proof by contradictions, what we do is uh, supposing I have a statement S and I want to prove a statement. Okay. Suppose I want to prove that a statement S is true. So, what we will do is, we will assume that S is not true. Okay. S is not true meaning its negation has to be true. Because exactly one of S and not S has to be true. So, S is false that means not S is true. So, you assume that not S is true. And you use logical reasoning and mathematical facts to show that to arrive at one statement which is always false under the context. Okay. So, we, you will arrive at a, a false statement here which will be a contradiction and you will be getting that contradiction because your assumption is false and hence the statement S is going to be true. So, this is the idea of proof by contradiction. Root 2 is irrational. Okay, so this is your 10th standard exam and even in 10th standard you already used contradiction to prove this. Okay, so I will assume that root 2 is rational. If root 2 is rational, then I can write root 2 as a by b where a and b are integers b is not equal to 0 the denominators shouldn't be 0 and a and b have no common factors even if they have common factors i'll cancel and cancel them out and i'll assume that a and b have no common factors okay so i will uh, uh, cross multiply b to root 2 and i have a equal to b root 2 i will square both the sides that gives me a square is equal to 2b square that means a square is even and if a square is even, then a is even. Okay, so a must be of the form 2k for some integer k. 
so i will take this and i will put it in the expression above that is uh, here okay so 4k square that is 2k the whole square that will become 4k square is equal to 2b square you cancel out 2 and you will end up with b square is equal to 2a square that means b square is again even because it's a multiple of 2 and hence b is even okay so b is even so a is even and b is even so both of them are having 2 as a common factor that's a contradiction because our assumption said that a and b have no common factors and now we are uh, coming to a point wherein we have a common factor for a and b why we are getting this contradiction now because our assumption that root 2 is rational is false so root 2 cannot be rational and hence root 2 is irrational all right so this is how we use uh, contradictions to prove mathematical statements next is uh, proofs by uh, mathematical induction okay supposing i have a statement of the form for all k in s k has property p where s is a subset of integers or the set of all the integers okay so for each integer i want to prove some property p okay so whenever i have such statements with me i can use the principle of mathematical induction so i will demonstrate the uh, uh, principle of mathematical induction with an example okay supposing i want to prove the statement i will name it p of n and the statement is the sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2 okay so what we do is we first prove the statement for n equal to 1 so for n equal to 1 I will have only one number one on the left hand side so left hand side is one if n is one then this is going to be two by two so right hand side is also one so left hand side is equal to right hand side and hence for n equal to one the statement p of one holds okay so now we'll assume that the statement is true for some integer k p of k so p of k is true that's what you assume that means you are assuming that one plus two plus three up till k is k into k plus one by two and now we prove the statement for the next integer k plus 1 okay so to prove the statement p of k plus 1 so i will uh, take the sum of uh, integers from 1 till k plus 1 1 2 3 up till k plus 1 but i know that the sum of integers from 1 till k is k into k plus 1 by 2 by assumption step okay so this is equal to k into k plus 1 by 2 the first half plus the last term that is k plus 1 okay now what you can do is you can take k plus 1 common from here you will be left with k by 2 plus 1 and again you multiply uh, cross multiply 2 there and that will give you k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 2 okay so we have proved the statement p of k plus 1 and hence by so p of k plus 1 the statement is true and hence by principle of mathematical induction the statement p of n holds for all natural numbers n okay so this is how you prove mathematical statement using principle of mathematical induction counter examples in mathematics supposing i have a statement of the form for all x in x x has a property p okay and i want to show that this statement is false that means i have to show that its negation is true right so i will have to look at its negation what it says not s would be there exists one point x in x such that x does not have property q that means to disprove the given statement to disprove the statement s what i need to do i need to find at least one point in x which does not satisfy property p okay so uh, one point one such point which does not satisfy property p is enough to disprove the given statement of this type okay so let me demonstrate this with an example now look at this statement this says for any real number x x square is uh, bigger than or equal to x okay so to prove the, to disprove the statement i need to find one real number for which x square is less than x right so if i choose uh, x equal to 0 0.5 then its square is 0 
okay and that is strictly less than that is strictly less than uh, 0.5 that means x square is strictly less than x so the given statement is false okay one more if i have a function f from r to r which is continuous at c then that function is differentiable at c so again to disprove the statement we have to find one function which is continuous but which is not differentiable so you pick the function mod x at the origin and that will do the job okay and these are my references thank you